Hello and welcome. So I have a very special pen to share with you today and kind of give my own personal first impressions, thoughts. I feel a little overwhelmed right now. This is, this is actually very overwhelming. <laughs> So the pen belongs to Andrew at Pen Friends. I will of course share his channel down below in the description and I encourage you strongly to check out his channel if you are interested in fountain pens and nature photography and beautiful artwork done and created with fountain pens and inks. Of course, what else do you put in a fountain pen? But anyways, I'm nervous. I'm actually really nervous right now. So he ordered this pen through Atlas Stationers, who doesn't ship internationally, and he's in the UK. So we've done this before. He's sent the pen to me, and I've sent it to him. The cool thing is he also allows me the opportunity to open up the box and to use the pen. And this is one that I think was a dream pen for him since he first entered the hobby. And it is a pen that I have also always wanted to experience. It is the Pilot Namiki. So first of all, it comes in this huge box. <laughs> it's a really pretty box. The box within the box. This is a wooden box. I am so flustered. It's ridiculous. I don't even know, I, don't, I hardly know anything about this pen. All the different artwork that and traditions and things that go into this pen, which Andrew will give a very in-depth, I'm sure, video of once he has this pen in his own hands. So I'm going to just glaze over all of that because I honestly don't know much. Even this Namiki book has really beautiful paper on the front of it, slightly translucent. So, here we go. Inside this giant box, we see something very similar to how the Pilot Custom 823 arrives. Uh, a similarly sized box with a bottle of ink. This is a Namiki brand ink. And this is what the Pilot Custom comes with. And I don't know, I suspect these inks are very similar. It would be, I would not be surprised if they were the same, but the bottling was just different. There is a single cartridge and the pen. Oh man, I am so nervous. <laughs> okay. So on this pen, what makes it so special is that we have this beautiful hand-painted image and Radon, or Radin, I believe that's actually abalone, all that beautiful like shimmery glitter. It's so pretty. <laughs> uh, I feel like I can't. You know what? I'm gonna bring my light closer. There we go. Now we can really see that beautiful shine. The weight of this pen, the feel of this pen is so marvelous. It has very much a life, an energy. It feels like you're holding something more than just a pen, <laughs> more than just a piece of plastic or, I don't know, there is very much a life and a depth and the weight is just absolutely perfect. And for me, I love this size. This is the best pen size ever, in my opinion. I just think it's a marvelous. It's a little bit slimmer, it's a little bit shorter. Let's go ahead and open this up and check out the nib. Oh, and before I forget, there is an artist's sig signature right there. Oh man, this is so beautiful. Yeah, that's really pretty. I feel like I have to whisper. It's 
like a sacred pen. <laughs> Here is the Namiki nib. The feed looks very much like the Pilot Custom 823 nib, or feed. So it's my understanding that Namiki is the name of a, of a man from Japan in the early 1900s that decided to create his own gold nib company. And from there it expanded, I don't know, I think he, he partnered with another gentleman who then coined Pilot. And so it's kind of a, a collaboration of these two pen makers. And I don't know how it evolved from there and how Namiki came to be what it is today. I get so distracted by that. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I wish you could feel this in person. It is just, I've never felt anything quite like this before. Like I said, there is a life and a depth. This is such a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, so this pen comes with a converter that is super cool. This is a push, push button filler, which I haven't seen since these 1930s Parker dual folds, which have a push button filler as well. The difference is this has a sack on the inside, a rubber sack, whereas this is actually an entire separated cartridge. I think this is such a brilliant design, and I don't know why more converters aren't made like this. Because a push button filler is so easy, and having, like, sticking your pen in a glass in your, your bottle of ink and pushing down is so much easier than having to twist it. Especially, like, if you're familiar, uh, this happens all the time with the sailors. Like, I feel like I never have enough real estate to grip. And so sometimes I accidentally end up twisting off the knob entirely instead of moving the plunger up. Goodness gracious, I am just so in awe of this pen. Thank you, Andrew, so very much for giving me this opportunity to be the first one to look at your pen. <laughs> You're going to love this pen so much. And I can't wait to see your video and your own thoughts on this beautiful creation. I don't need to be filling it so much, but I just want to show you how the push button works. And look at that's a really legit carrying capacity. I'm very happy with that. This is one of my favorite blue inks, by the way. Okay, we're going to the back of the book. This is Lloyd's term paper, by the way. Now, Andrew told me that this pen can be posted because the cap Oh my goodness, is lined with felt. Oh, that's amazing. I still feel very anxious about posting it, and it's completely unnecessary. It makes the pen much longer. It's still a really nice balance, though. This is perfectly balanced. Wow, that, it, that just feels so good to hold in the hand. All right, let's get to work. Thank you. 
you will probably not be surprised here that this nib feels very much like the Pilot Custom 823, which makes me excessively happy because it is one of my favorite nibs. I have talked about it so many times. And here, just to give you a comparison, this is the Custom 823 in the translucent amber, and this is the Namiki, Pilot Namiki. So you can see a lot of similarities. And I've got some schmutz on it. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I promise I won't get schmutz on your pen, Andrew. <laughs> Just gonna take a look at the two different nibs. I'm surprised to see actually that the Pilot Custom 823 nib is a hair bit larger of a nib. Everything is so proportionate on these pens. And then here is the Pilot Custom, and I just want to give you a sense of the line variation and how these two fines differ. This is the 14 karat fine. This is the Custom 823. The nib is just a tad soft. This is actually an 18 karat fine. And the nib isn't quite as soft, surprisingly enough, as the custom 823. So you can eke out a little bit more line variation with the custom. Okay, what do I think about this pen? I, okay, this is a very expensive pen. This is the most expensive pen I've ever held. Fountain pens are expensive. Even a $20 fountain pen feels expensive when you're accustomed to buying a pack of ballpoint pens for $5. I feel like the more one sits in the hobby and experiences fountain pens, the more willing you are to spend a little bit more and a little bit more budget willing. <laughs> For me, my my price cap generally is around the $300. Like that's, I feel fairly comfortable spending that much money on a pen. But I have a really hard time justifying anything more expensive than that. This, however, I think is worth every penny. Honestly, this has such a life and an energy and is so beautiful and I'm telling you like how it feels to hold in the hand is just unlike anything else I've ever experienced. It just feels so nice in the hand. And again, this is like this is my opinion. I love this size pen, so it just ugh. and for modern fountain pens, Japanese pens are just so awesome. <laughs> so for me, this checks all of the boxes and more, and it just feels so worth it. Oh my goodness. And I think, I think I could get past the preciousness of it and I actually use this on a daily basis or feel comfortable to use this on a daily basis. This pen is exquisite. That That is just... <sighs> Hands down, this pen is amazing, and it is now on my wish list. <laughs> Darn you, Andrew! You pen enabler, you! Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it makes it safely to you, Andrew, and I hope that you love it, and I can't wait to see your video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.